one. Good morning, North Stars. Happy Friday. Woo! Today we have a special guest with us, and they're going to tell you their announcement just a little bit, but I've got a couple things to tell you first. But, I mean, it's so exciting to see Mr. Tisher and Ms. Strank. Woo! Okay, so let's get going. So, once again today, virtual students are in the building, so please be quiet. Please respect education. Please allow them to um, do their testing and show what they know. Um, since we have our five teachers here, thank you for giving up your classroom space, your gym for us. We appreciate that. Hopefully no more pandemics so we can have everyone all together in the future. So as we finish up Teacher Appreciation Week, we'd like to thank a huge thank you to the North PTSO for all the wonderful treats all week long. I mean, I think Mr. Tuster and Ms. Strank would agree it was a really ridiculous, awesome week. Something every day with a theme, decorations, food, it was just, we felt very appreciated. So thank you to all the North families who donated to that for us. We feel appreciated and we appreciate you as well. So thank you again. Okay, today we are featuring Jerry Yang, who is our Taiwanese American co-founder of Yahoo and tech investor. In 1984, Jerry Yang and his classmate, David Philo, dropped out of the doctoral program of Stanford to create an internet directory originally named Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web. So they changed that from that to Yahoo. If you remember Yahoo, I mean, now we're all Google, but Yahoo was a big deal back in the 90s. As a creator of one of the first internet portals, Yang played a critical role in defining the role of technology in all of our lives. Born in Taiwan in 1968, Yang emigrated to San Jose, California at age 10 with his mother and his brother, in the years since leaving Yahoo, Yang has become a mentor to numerous tech startups and an investor in more than 50 startups. Thank you, Mr. Jerry Yang, for your contributions to Asian American Heritage. Okay. So our reading recommendation in the LMC is called Running on the Roof of the World, Running on the Roof of the World by Jess Butterworth. Tash, Tash lives in Tibet, where as a Buddhist, she must follow many rules to avoid the wrath of the occupying Chinese soldiers. Life remains peaceful as long as Tash, her family, and her community do as they are told and hide their religion. When the peace is broken and in the crackdown that follows, Tash and her best friend Sam must escape. Follow their journey in the book Running on the Roof of the World as they trek across the mountains in search of safety in the Indian border. So check that out in our very own LMC. So now is the fun part because, I mean, that was all fun too and very informative and interesting. But now we get to hear from our very own Mr. Tisha and Ms. Shrank. We're going to tell us a little bit about something that they're doing that we're all really excited about. So take it away, Mr. Tisha. Take it away, Ms. Shrank. What do you got? All right. Mr. Tisha, do you like pie? Of course. I love all sweets and pie included. Oh, my gosh. My favorite. All right, so if you like pie, do you also like helping people out to raise money for heart disease? Uh, you know I would, for sure, in all seriousness. Uh, we are doing the American Heart Association uh, Hoops for Heart and Kids Heart Challenge. And for the last 18 years, I've been playing in honor of my grandfather who passed away from heart disease. And so it's a really cool event. And we're talking a little bit more about how we're gonna do that next week. So thank you. Awesome. So next week, you're in luck because the PE department will be hosting a penny war at the lunches. So we're actually going to give you a chance to get a pie in the face. Wait, wait, me? Well, what about what about our other colleagues? Ms. OK, I mean, I Mr. guess Johnson. be inclusive and include everybody. Okay, thank you. Speak. If you want the chance to either pie me Mr. Tisher, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Redmer, Ms. Featon in the face at lunch. Um, we're gonna have five buckets at lunch, uh, each with our face on it. Um, so look for those next week. We're gonna be running it May 10th through the 14th. Um, each lunch, uh, you guys are gonna get out your spare change, get out some of your maybe dollar bills that you use for that soda after school and hopefully use it to pie somebody in the face and also for a good cause for our school here. Um, so look for that at lunch. Um, then that pie in the face will be that following Friday on May 21st. Um, we'll get a chance to see someone get a pie in the face. The top two buckets with the most money at the end of the week will be those two teachers that get that pie in the face. So, And here's what a picture may look like on that bucket. So get to those buckets. 
um, get your spare chains together. And then it's just a great, great cause for young people dealing with heart disease, heart failure, heart murmurs, all that stuff. And, and this will be our 19th year at North Middle School running our event. So every little bit counts. Don't think that you can't bring in a couple pennies that you found or a couple dimes, a couple nickels. It seriously goes a long way and much appreciated. Thanks so much, everybody. Yep, Mr. Red really likes pie, by the way. Okay. So the more money you get in your bucket, the more likely you are to get the pie. So the top two people have the most money in their bucket. So if I really wanted Mr. Tisher to ha have a pie in his face, I would bring like a $20 bill and throw in his bucket. Yes, exactly. you would. We should say that. Yes, it's it's coins related, Penny War, but definitely can put dollar bills in there if you feel um, very passionate about uh, this association. Uh, you know, you bring any dollar amount and... Uh, the leading uh, money getter in the bucket at the end of the week, the top two are going to get the pies in the face at lunch. So, oof. Are they going to get it in all three lunches? Yes, we're just, so each, yep. So whatever lunch, <laughs> most uh, um, dollar amount, that person will get it. Could get it three times. Could it get it at sixth grade? Could get it at seventh? Could get it at eight? Hopefully not, but um, we'll see. There's five of us. So uh, we'll see who, uh, who gets the most money in their bucket. And I cannot wait to see what happens. And it's 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 fun because of the pie in the face, but it's also, like you said, for a really good cause. So thank you very much for doing what you can to help um, with something that will help our whole community be better. Definitely. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so our ACT vocabulary word is correlate, as in like FIA teachers' faces correlate with pies. You can type in a mutual relationship or connection. Also, strawberries correlate with shortcake. Please prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Make it a great day. Make it a great weekend. The choice is yours. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Have a good Have weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.